Hello, I'm just unpacking a Yaga Mini Canal trench heater. Uh, Yaga are probably the premium brand in the trench heater market at the moment. Uh, this is a Mini Canal model. Uh, just looking at the component parts, we've got the trench heater itself, which in this in this instance is a, a straight through unit with the pipe connections, which are at both ends. Um, it also has a roll up aluminium grill uh, valving and also the le leveling devices the actual trench heater itself uh, it's a base, basic lift out model so be a little bit careful lift the heat in exchanger off to the side and we can have a look inside uh, we've got what we've got if we've got some knockout units on both sides for the piping uh, one at the centre, one at the side, one at either side, uh, and the same same at the other end. The heat exchanger itself, it has a, a vent valve on the top uh, and a, a side entry, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, just looking at the levelling available for this system, uh, it comes with a standard strapping system, which basically you, you, you connect to the side, You'd bend this unit and you'd strap it to whatever you needed to strap it. Well, we've got these additional uh, Yaga feet for this one. Um, now, this is a L shaped bracket. In this, on this particular unit, there's going to be six of them, and this can be mounted with the L shape inside or on the outside of the unit. Um, so basically we've got a piece of rubber, we've got the bracket, you've got a bit of a hole in the middle. Now this unit, as I said, it can go in or it can go out. If we're going to connect it out, there's basically one bolt which will go into the unit. We can set our height up and down. In addition, we've got this screw uh, with a with a rubberized piece on the end, and that will go internally here, and that'll just help to jack the unit up and down. So that will go through hold it, you use a, a cross head screwdriver that will that'll drive down we'll, we'll put this piece on the bottom and that will help you with your levelling um, alternatively if you're putting it into fixed trench this will actually come off again if you have a look at this unit here there's a little bit of a hole in the middle uh, we turn that round. That will go inside, and it'll actually line that hole will line up with this piece here, um, and I'm, I'll then be able to screw through as well as using uh, this height adjustment. Right, so that's that's how the unit's actually mounted. Um, if we have a look at the valving. Right, what we're going to do, we, we've got some standard uh, lock shields provided by Yaga themselves. And then we have a pipe adapter for 15mm. So into the end of the heat exchanger, we're going to connect The lock shield. This is actually a uh, standard hex head for tightening up. I don't know if I'm just getting the side and show you there. So the hex head just to tighten it up. Then the lock shield will go in, and after the lock shield, 
we'll then put in the pipe adapter for the 15 mil and that's that's for a, a, a that's a compression fitting on the end um, so basically you're gonna have the the vent valve on the unit then the lock shield then the pipe fitting the pipe in this case is going to come in from the side and that'll be that'll be how the systems run some people like to have the lock shields on the outside and run the pipe straight in that's that's fine that's just a, a matter of course if you see on this unit is actually um there's there's some blue well this is actually just protective casing that the tape that's been put on by Jaeger themselves that just gets peeled off uh, we then have the grill itself as I mentioned this is a standard uh, roll aluminium uh, very nice very solid uh, as I said Jaeger are probably the premium brand on the market and you, you will notice it a difference between economy brands which you can buy on the shelf and for, for Jaeger basically these are all built to order so they won't have been hanging around on a shelf for a long time they're all incredibly sturdy and the feedback we're getting on these units has been a bit exceptional really um, so that's the Jaeger mini canal uh, available at Trench Style uh, online you can order your systems there generally there's going to be a uh, four week lead time on these products uh, and we're happy to provide any questions these are also available in fan assist now the fan assist what that does it, it basically uh, draws air through the trench heater and it produce gives you quite a big uh, BTU boost on top of the output of a normal supply obviously with the air being drawn over the heat exchange you're going to get a significant output so in areas where your space limited but you need a high output a fan assist is definitely worth something something worth considering but if you're looking uh, to cover a target area such like something similar to this and you've already got additional heating within the room which was a standard radiator uh, this kind of trench is uh, absolutely ideal it'll stop cool spots uh, it'll stop uh, condensation forming uh, and it's des designed for that particular purpose so the, these can be used for standalone units in room, targeted heating. Um, perfect for glass facades or other other areas. You know they can go along walls, against stairs. Have a look. Have a look on our website, uh, trenchstyle.co.uk, and you'll be able to see them used in a, a multiple area of uh, installation. Um, that's basically it. Any questions? Contact sales at trenchdale.co.uk. Thank you.